Hey again, AP Chemistry. So just in case you are having issues with plotting your data, um, I'm going to do this again. It depends on how your Google Sheets is set up, and it depends on how you select your data. But what you're also going to, what you could also do, just in case um, the plotting doesn't work before, is don't have any titles. So look, I just have my raw data here, and I'll put this at the bottom that this was my concentration in micromolar. And this is my absorbance, but I'm not going to select that or put that anywhere near here. And I'm going to select over this data and insert it into a chart or graph. Now, this gave me a bar graph, but I don't want that. I want a scatter plot. And so look, now I have two points here. And then this is the beginning of my graph. I'm going to go to customize series, and I want to see the trend line. So it's the same steps that I gave you before. I'm going to click on trend line. Ooh, now I have a line. And then label, use equation. And here's my equation. And just to let you know, this is a y equals mx plus b type of situation, where the slope m is going to be your molar absorptivity for this substance. Now, I only have two sets of data points, so this is probably not going to be accurate. But right now, for my two sets of data points, it looks like the molar absorptivity of this compound is 2.02 times 10 to the minus third. Um, so this is just a quick troubleshooting way of if you have issues plotting your data, this is what you have to do. Don't label it at all. Label it at the bottom to keep track and put all of your data on top and then select it. And now it nicely plots it for you. Alrighty, so hopefully this was helpful just in case you had issues.